What I have here today is not something you'd normally see on a prepper channel. It's not one of the more exciting preps, but if you're thinking about security and lighting up your property to keep predators away, both two-legged and four-legged, it's definitely a viable option. Today, we're talking about this OK Pro S867B 1000 watt solar street light. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So, like I said before, this isn't something you normally would see me review, but I did pick it up for the other side of my property that is very dark, very, very dark. And it's actually going to be a pretty good test of it today because it's kind of overcast and cloudy and rainy. And we'll see if it can pick up a full charge in a day of crummy weather like that. Now, the device itself is a supposed 12,000 lumens. It's very bright. I wouldn't say 12,000 lumens. I'd say maybe two or 3,000. Uh, but it's very, very bright. It does operate from dusk till dawn. At, or it operates at a low level and activates when somebody walks under it or it will just stay on continuously and you can set that via the remote I have the remote here okay you'll see two hour three hour five hour eight hour or six hour um, these are the brightness levels you can set it at that's to pair it when you first put it in we already did that to turn it on is fairly simple I'm just gonna hit the button and it blinks twice to let you know it's on let's turn that off so I don't blind you guys whoops wrong button so it is a pretty bright light, and it is the size of a street light. I mean, you can see with the comparison to my hand, this thing is huge. On the back, it does have a very large solar panel. So I'm not worried about this thing getting enough sun. I feel it will. It does come with a mounting bracket. I'll show you that when we take it outside. Um, outside filming today is going to be a little difficult because of how crummy it is out. Um, hopefully, with the new mic, we won't pick up too much wind and, and uh, noise. So um, we'll take it outside in a second, mount it. Really what I have to do is mount that end piece there to the bracket. The bracket is just a L-shaped bracket and you can mount it on the side of your house that is motion activated still. I gotta turn that off. You can mount that on the side of your house or you can mount that um, on a pole. I opted for a pole that I kind of hacked together. I wanted to make this as cheap as possible and as movable as possible. This is a temporary installation. If I need to move this somewhere, I can. I'm literally taking a cap off of one of my fence posts and sticking it down the fence post and I've stuffed the fence post with rock. So it will stand up maybe about 15 feet or so off the ground. So I'm going to show you the hardware real quick to mount it on the back. This is your back plate here. That's going to go on the back of that, and these bolts are going to go through, and you'll screw them in. I want to get that nice and tight. I have the instruction manual here. Very, very simple. It's an easy light to use. I mean, that's the mounting hardware, by the way. That's what it'll look like. I'll point it over that way in a sec. It's just kind of dark, that side of the room. There's not enough room here for the whole pole and the mounting hardware. So what we're going to do is take it outside. I want to give you a little information on this thing, okay? This is IP67 waterproof rated. The weight on it is about 11.446 pounds. Product dimensions, 13.46 inches across by 2.76 inches thick and 23.5 inches long that way. So it is a rather large light. It's a great deal, I feel, and you can charge it up at daytime so there's no need to wire anything in, and that's what I was looking for. I didn't want something that I had to wire in. Now, I've used various other solar lights on that side of the house. It's very, very dark, and they never seem to last. They just don't seem to do it. So I figured, since they were nice enough to send this along for me to actually do a long-term review on it, I was going to use it there and set it up. Now, you'll have an on and off button over there, that little red button. You'll have your sensor over there for daylight, night, and motion. Okay, as you can tell, if you, if you move over that, it will turn itself back on again. I shut it off now, but it will turn itself back on again. It is extremely bright, okay? It, it's got 867... 5730 uh, high bright SMD lamp beads, okay? Very long lifespan on those, they last a very long time. You get about 700K light out of this, okay, at its top, and a range of about 1800 square feet all the way around of light. You do have the remote control, you do have the three modes, the dust till dawn sensor, uh, the motion sensor, and the remote control on its own. What we have this set up for is at nighttime, this is gonna come on automatically for eight hours. 
okay and i want it at 100 percent so i've just set it up as an actual street light i want to see how the battery holds up now this was fully charged under sun over the last week so we're going to mount it on the pole and i'm going to show you what that looks like and then we're going to carry the thing out and literally stick it down the side of a fence and see how well it holds up then we're going to go back tonight and do a night video on it and then we'll wrap up the video so let me get this mounted to the pole and i'll show you what it looks like now i bet you right now you're saying dude that thing looks huge it is <laughs> but i thought it would be a really nice addition um we're going to try it out we're going to put it out there now and as you can see i don't know if you can see in the screen there it is raining so this will be a good day to test it out it is fairly full but it has sat out here about a week without being out in the sun so we're going to try it out and see um i've got it on there pretty tight really um as far as it being easy to set up it was very simple to set up it's just big so you're dealing in larger spaces with larger tools um anyway let's get it outside i'm not going to bring the camera out until it's installed okay i don't want to get the camera wet because it is raining so i'll bring it out to show you what it looks like but i'm just going to slide it down in the pole and do all that beforehand so let me get it out there let's put it in place and i'll show you what it looks like all right if you notice i'm out of breath that was a bit of a push there <laughs> that was not easy but I got it up there. I just rocked it into the uh, hole up top. And as you can see, it's just mounted in the base there. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just mounted into the base there. I just dropped it in, filled it with dirt and rocks. And it is perfectly straight up and down. Uh, it does turn on. I have, I hope I brought the remote back out here with this camera. I may not have. But when you stand under it and you push the remote, I didn't. But when you stand under it and you push the remote, the light will turn on for a second. So what we're going to do is wait until it gets dark. And I'll bring you back out and show you just how much this lights up the area. Um, that the stuff over there is all my neighbor's stuff. So it'll light up both here and over there as well. So let's get it back inside. And we will show you what it looks like in the dark. And we'll finish up the video when we're back out here in the dark. All right. So we're out here in a bit of a windstorm and rainstorm. I just want you to see how well this thing is lighting everything up. I'm going to back up a little bit here and show you. That's the neighbor's yard over there. And that's my yard here and this whole area is lit up this thing is amazing really really better than i expected um not as bright as i expected i wouldn't say this is as bright as a regular street light but it's definitely bright now quickly quick information on the light itself the light runs 203.99 okay there was a 10 percent coupon on the site um you can click on the the link under the price the coupon has nothing to do with me i don't have a code for it or anything like that also too you will find your remote control to be very handy with this thing. I'm going to try and walk under it and see if it lights up. Anyway, I have it on permanent. Let's see if I can show you. That's down my side driveway. Now, this used to be pitch black this way. So I am really, really impressed. So I got to say, for 203 bucks, you know, 204 bucks, this is a real professional kind of street light. And I apologize for the wind and chaos and noise out here. We are in the middle of a really decent rainstorm. A little bit of a rainstorm, mostly a windstorm. But as you can see, it works well. So that's the video for today. Don't forget to check out the link down below. Don't forget to check out all our other links down below as well. And if you want to support the channel, you can check out all our links down there. Don't forget our Thrive Life link. We also have a sale going on on Thrive Life if you're a distributor or a delivery customer. We have our, our winter sale going on there. And let me get under the wind here, out of the rain a little. And don't forget to check out our freeze-dried wholesaler link as well. 15% off just for clicking the link. I'm going to get inside before I get rained on. Stay safe and stay prepared.